Greetings once again from TLC Church here in Denver, Colorado. A company announced one day that they were looking for an employee as a telegraph operator. There were 10 applicants waiting in the large noisy hallway across from the front of the personnel manager's office. They were waiting to be interviewed for the job. One guy was a young man who had filled out the paperwork and sat with the others waiting to be interviewed. He heard all the hustle and the bustle in this busy place, along with the clacking of the telegraph machine in the background. A couple minutes later, this young man stood up, crossed the hallway, knocked on the door of the manager's office, and then walked right in. Of course, the other applicants were shocked at this young man's rude behavior. The other applicants began to discuss the young man's crude behavior when he was just walking in. But... Ten minutes passed, and the young man finally came out of the office. He was escorted by the personnel manager who announced to all the other applicants, I want to thank you all for coming in, but the position has just been filled. <laughs> the applicants were confused, and one of them spoke up and asked, Sir, we don't understand. All of us have been waiting here a lot longer than this guy. Why, why didn't we even get an interview? The manager replied, yeah, I know all of you have been sitting here for more than an hour. All this time, the telegraph has been ticking out one message. Dear applicant, come right in so we can start the interview. <laughs> the Bible says a lot about being prepared. There is a day when Jesus will come again. He's giving the message that we need to be prepared for that day. Listen to Matthew verse tw chapter 25, beginning with verse 13. It says, during the time of the end, those who love God should keep watching for the bridegroom. The bridegroom, of course, is Jesus. And make extra preparation in case of delay. Because no one knows the day or the hour when the Son of Man, that's Jesus, will come back to take us home. <laughs> Let's pray that we're always prepared. Not just for the second coming, which is the most important event that ever happened in this world. But be prepared daily for the things that come our way. Father, we thank you that we have the time to be prepared, but we need to use that time wisely. Study your word and spend time in prayer so that we will be prepared when Jesus comes again. In his name we pray, amen.